isa ka rin ba sa mga nagagala na ang ibig sabihin ng salitang rent to own ay magrerenta ka ng property and magiging sa'yo yung property na yon? Well, nagkakamali ka. In this video, I will review kung ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng salita rent to own. My name is Hill and welcome to my channel. Marami akong clients before na lagi nagahanap ng mga rent to own properties like condo, bahay, etc. And kapag ina-explain ko na sa kanila kung ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng salitang rent to own eh nagugulat at nalilismaya. Bakit? Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng salitang rent to own? Kasi kung pagbabasihan natin ang literal na meaning of the words ma-misinterpret mo talaga siya. Also, it will be contradicting sa lagi kong sinasabi before na never magiging sa'yo yung inuupahan mo. Maraming marami kayong mga nakikitang marketing post na nagsasabing rent to own for as low as ganito o ganyan, etc. But, alam mo ba that the real reason the word rent to own exists is for marketing purposes and also to help those persons na naghahanap ng mga RFO or ready for occupancy na properties but walang pambayad ng bulk or spot na down payment. Why? Because mostly sa mga RFO or mga ready for occupancy na properties developers will require you to pay 10 to 30% of the TCP or the total contract price of that property as the down payment. Example, 2 million yung property, you need 400,000 as the down payment. And some developers will require you to pay spot payment or others will allow payable for up to the maximum of 6 months. Now, Para marami ang maka-avail ng mga RFO pero walang pambayad. Nani? Omae wa mou shindeiru. 3 hours later. A few moments later. Now, para marami ang maka-avail ng mga RFO na properties which medyo mahirap kasi medyo malaki ang down payment, the word rent to own existed. So, ganito kasi yun. Example natin is a house worth 2 million. And then, 20% of the 2 million will be the down payment which is 400,000. Kasi RFO na yung properties. Di ba dapat kailangan spot payment of the 400,000? Dahil wala kang pambayad, some developers will offer you the option of rent to own. So, ano mangyayari? 400,000 will be divided in some instances up to the maximum of 2 years. So, 400,000 divided by 24 months, that will be 17,000 per month. Rounded off. Babayaran mo sa developer while nakatira ka sa bahay na yon which serves us para mo siyang renta. And that's where the word rent exists. Kasi para kang nagre-renta ng monthly, but the reality ay binabayaran mo lang ang down payment. Pero, nandun ka na sa bahay. Nakatira ka na. So, anong mangyayari after 2 years? So, bayad mo na yung 400,000 mo na down payment Dahil nang monthly ka ng 17,000 but may kulang pa yung balance. Paano mo bayaran? In this case, the balance remaining 
will be loaned to the bank for 5 EB. What? Yes, tama po ang narinig nyo. Rent to own properties will still be applied for loan to the bank or pagibi. And that's where the word own will take place. Dahil yung remaining balance ay babayaran mo hindi na sa developer but doon na mismo sa banko or sa pagibi. So wag kayong magugulat pag sinabing rent to own properties ay kailangan pa rin i-loan sa banko or sa pag-ibig. So that's it! Nagulat ka ba? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nagulat din ako. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, give it a thumbs up. Pwede mo rin i-share para naman malaman din ng iba kung ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng salitang friend to own. Kung meron kang suggestions or violent reactions, you can comment down below. And if you want more fun and entertaining videos about real estate investing and more, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong videos. Thank you and see you soon!